Hi everyone, today I'm sharing my Lurid Apothecary Ready to Ship. This was from last Friday, um, July 30th, and this is all overstock from her most recent pre-sale she had. So this is what I'm going to be opening today, and it is a new vendor to me. Um, and I'm excited to try her out because she has a fall pre-sale coming soon. Um, I believe she's opening it this Friday, August 13th, and she already listed her, um, she already listed the scent list on her Facebook and Instagram. So if you're interested in that, definitely check that information out before the pre-sale starts. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. Let me just open it really quick. Ooh, pretty. Okay, I'm gonna put this to the side and we'll go through everything one by one. All right, so I ordered a few snappy bars and then mainly lurid bags. And oh my gosh, I'm already so impressed. The lurid bags are a lot bigger than I thought they were gonna be, like a lot bigger. Um, I think I'll start with the snappy bars. So these are wrapped separate like this. Okay, so this is her snappy bar. And I think, does she say it on here? Ooh, these were poured super recently. Wow, only a day before the ready to ship. So maybe it's not overstock. Maybe she just decided to pour a few extras because people requested it. Um, I think her snappy bars are around three to three and a half ounces. And then her lurid bags are maybe five. Let me, let me double check that really quick. Okay, yep, I think I said that right. So lurid bag is 5.5 .5 to six ounces and it's $7 and the snappy bars are three ounces for about $4.20. So that's the pricing and the ounce size breakdown. So these were my only two I got in the snappy bar. And I'm kind of thinking in her upcoming presale, I might just get one of everything in the snappy bar because this is the cheapest option, but I'm not sure yet because the lured bags look really cute. <laughs> okay. So the first one I got is Sheets. It smells really good. Um, vanilla cashmere, black chamomile, cocoa. Okay, it smells mainly like the cocoa butter cashmere. It's like definitely the main note I'm getting. But I think the other notes are just gentle and would mix really well. Like the vanilla cashmere, I feel like is probably a really similar scent to the cocoa butter cashmere. So maybe I'm smelling both of those. I'm, to be honest, I'm not super sure what black chamomile smells like, but this one's a really good calming, like nighttime scent. And because these were poured super recently, I'll probably let them sit for another week or two just to just to be sure that the scent notes are like fully there and cured already. But yeah, that one I really like. And then Sweet Bum, Bum Bum type cream soda vanilla cream. Ooh, this is really good. Yeah, I would say I get like an even amount, maybe a little bit more of the Bum Bum type and then the vanilla cream maybe. Um, but I do have that Bum Bum lotion and it smells really similar to this. I really like that. And look at the pretty purple glitters. All right, let's just go into the lurid bags. Um, actually, before I do that, I found two samples and this is her business card if you guys are interested. Um, any more samples? Okay, wait a second, is this a sample? I think I might have gotten, this is a sample too, just because all the other lured bags are a lot bigger. Okay, so I think these are my samples. Tunnel of Love, and this doesn't have the scent notes on it. Okay. 
smells super good. I want to say it's a little bit of a fruity scent, maybe like that one. Circus peanuts. Um, if I find the scent notes, I'll list them in the description. Ooh, this does smell like peanut butter. Maybe like a chocolatey peanut butter or like a nutter butter. Hmm, that one's pretty good. I've never tried like a peanut, peanutty type of a scent. And then ring toss. So this one is in like kind of like a lurid bag type, but it's not as big as the other lurid bags, which makes me think this is a sample. Um, and this is fruit slices, dragon fruit, star fruit, taffy. Okay, so fruity. Mmm, smells good. Um, yeah, I guess kind of like a candy. So maybe it's the saltwater taffy I'm smelling the strongest. And then just like a, a lot of fruity notes. This one's really good. Now let's move on to the lurid bag. So I got eight lurid bags. So the first one I pulled out is red, white, and blue snow cone. And then just as a size comparison, so like this one's a lot smaller. Um, and this is the lurid bag size. This is raspberry, lime, blueberry, fizz. So this one wasn't originally on my list to grab, but I don't know, just in the rush because some of the things that I did want to grab were sold out, I kind of put in some extra things. Ooh, this is really good. I, I'm smelling the fizz super strong. To me, I'm smelling the lime fizz the strongest. Yeah. Whoop. Yeah, at the moment this smells like a lime fizz, but it's really good. I actually do enjoy lime scents. So yeah, but maybe to be safe, I'll let this sit a little bit longer and see if the raspberry and blueberry notes come out a bit more. The next one I got is Pool Party. So here's another bum bum type. Ooh, this is good. I think I'm, honestly, I think I smell a little bit of everything. I did initially get that bum bum, but now I'm getting, I do smell coconut and vanilla. So that is a really good mixture. Um, sorry, hopefully it looks the same, but I got a phone call, so. But anyway, this, this one is a really good summer scent. Okay, next one, cotton candy stand. So this was another one I didn't originally have on my list to get, but then just in the craze of ordering and other things getting sold out, I sort of just grabbed it. And I should have showed first, so it's kind of some fun, cute shapes along with like some chunk shapes. This is very sweet. If you like cotton candy, sweet scents, you'll like this. I think I do get kind of everything, like the cotton candy and cotton candy frosting. I love sweet scents, so I like this. But yeah, honestly, it's, it's not that overpowering. It's actually kind of light. Um, this was poured in June though, so it's probably good. But yeah, I like that. All right, and hopefully it's not too dark. Oh, is that too bright? Okay. Um, the next one I got is Boardwalk Babes. This one was on my list to, to grab. Um, this is another Bum Bum type. So Boardwalk marsh Marshmallow, Salty Sea Air, Bum Bum. These are all like up my alley. Ooh, this smells really good. I definitely get the Boardwalk Mallow and the Bum Bum, I think is a really good mixture with that. This one smells really good. And look at those cute, like there's pineapple shapes. There's like little moons. Um, there's like a tiny star. I love these lurid bags. I'm a big fan of like the little shapes you can just perfectly pop into a warmer. And I love the glitter. I love the fun colors. So I know I said I was planning on getting all snappy bars in the pre-order, but now I'm kind of like, ooh, do I want to order a lurid bag instead of a few things? 
Um, I think I showed this one at the beginning. So this one's Sweet Dreams and this one's like packed full. It is a hot day out today, so there is a little smudging. That's interesting. Some of them have pour dates and some of them don't on the back. So like this one has a pour date and this, a few of them don't, but I'm assuming they're all probably around the same date, if not later. So that it's probably 6, 11, 21, or like I had those snappy bars that were like July 29th. So to be safe, I might let, let a few of them sit, but yeah, this one's lavender marshmallow. Oh, another bum bum. This must be a popular like summer scent for her, the bum bum type. Ooh, that's good. It almost smells fizzy. Maybe that's the bean nectarine because I am getting like a tropical note. I think what I'm getting strongest here is the bean nectarine and the bum bum type. And I think lavender and like marshmallow and vanilla are maybe background notes, but marshmallow and vanilla are always notes that mix well with like everything I'd say. I love these colors too, the purples and the blues. All right, three more. Watermelon Festival, and of course it's in watermelon colors. Watermelon and sugar. I almost, when I first opened the bag, got like a vanilla frosting note, but clearly that's not a scent note. This is definitely leaning towards, I've heard people say watermelon can lean towards that like chapsticky watermelon. And this one does. I personally like that. Like I don't mind. I, If I get a chapstick, I like the watermelon chapstick. But just keep that in mind. If you don't like that kind of watermelon, you might not like this one. Mm. The more I smell it, the more I like it though. At first I wasn't sure, but yeah, I think this one, I think this one actually is pretty good. All right, the next one is Warm Clouds. And this is another just marshmallowy, vanilla, nice, scent. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just, an, it is a nice warm vanilla scent. The more I smell it and like have the, ba the bag open, I feel like the lighter it's getting, but it's just a nice warm vanilla. Like it's, they're never that strong. This one might be a good like mixing scent if you do have like a fruity scent that's like really overbearing. Um, but yeah, this one's nice. And then my last one, Beach S'mores. I'm excited to try this. Um, salty Sea Air Graham Cracker Marshmallow Chocolate. Oh wow, I definitely get chocolate. I'm almost getting like a Tootsie Roll note or like smell. Yeah, to me it smells kind of like a Tootsie Roll. So yeah, I mean, that one's a fun one. I, I don't have a lot of chocolate scents. So I'm excited to add this one into my collection. From the look of it, I almost thought it was supposed to be like a mint chocolate or something because of the cute mint colors, but yeah. So this is everything I got. Let me just lay out a few of them so you can see how pretty they are. Um, I like them all. I don't think there was any I like didn't like. Oh no, sorry. It's so dark out. It's not, um, I feel like it's not focusing super well, but yeah, and out of my order, she gave three samples, one being like really generous. And then here were my two bars I got. So yeah, I really like everything. I feel like her pricing is very reasonable and she has, um, she has a few wax melt, um, 
like coupon codes from different wax melt um, people I follow on Instagram so you can get like a 20% off code. Um, but yeah, again, her pre-order opens this Friday on August 13th and I will definitely be partaking in that. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video.